everyone. Um, I'm going to start doing pregnancy vlogs. Uh, I am currently 13 weeks and 2 days pregnant. And basically what I'm going to do is, uh, for this first vlog, I'm just going to give you a little background information on me first. My name is Laura. I am 23 years old. Uh, this is my second pregnancy. My first son died of SIDS in March of this year, and he was born on August 17th of 2010. I was 21 when I had him. Um, so right now, I got this book. It's called The Belly Book. I hope you all can see that. And um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill you in on what's been happening so far in my pregnancy from finding out until now. Okay, so I found out I was pregnant on August 12th. And basically, right now I'm just going to go through the week so far. So, for the most part, at the beginning I was just kind of tired a lot, like just normal um, symptoms for the first couple of weeks. Just tired. I didn't have any morning sickness though, which I was really happy about. And um, so basically, for the first few weeks, all I've got written down is that I was really tired. And you know, I was kind of peeing a little bit more than usual. And so on week 7 it says, not feeling so tired, yay, have been taking iron supplements, I think they are helping. Um, week 8 says, went to a baby group for the first time this week, had a doctor's appointment as well on Monday, September 12th at 1.30pm. Doctor said new due date is April 20th, 2012 and gave me forms for blood work. Week 9 says, not feeling bad, not as tired as before, liking that a lot. Week 10 says, feeling pretty good, everything is going well. Um, week 11, it has some questions that you can fill out, and uh, the question is music that we have been listening to lately, and I put 80s, been living 80s music, music a lot lately. Recent movie I've seen, Bridesmaids, which was funny. Um, book I'm reading, A Stolen Life by J.C. Lee Dugard, which is a really good book. And top news story at the moment, the co-founder of Apple, Steve Jobs, passed away from cancer. Uh, week 12, it says in the book, this week marks the end of my first trimester. It says reflections. I put, it's been pretty good so far and everything seems to be going well. I can't believe how fast this pregnancy is going by. And then the other thing says, now we can tell everyone else. And I put, a lot of people know now. So, um, now it just goes into, like, the first prenatal appointment, so I'll just read you what it says for that. It says, um, appointment date, Monday, August 22nd, or August 31st, 2011. I went on both those days, so I just kind of combined the two appointments. And it says, weight gain to date, I lost weight, estimated size of you, still very tiny, questions slash notes. Everything seems to be going well. Doctor said things are looking great. Weight and blood pressure are fine. And then the next two appointments are Monday, September 12th uh, and September 22nd, 2011. And it says weight gain to date. I lost weight again. Estimated size of you. Small still but growing. Uh, questions slash notes. Everything's still looking good. Weight and blood pressure is great. Questions that we asked, or that were asked, um, it says C-section or V-back. I had a C-section with my first son, so I'm not, I wasn't sure, like, how that would work if I could have a V-back, but, um, since it's going to be too close together, it'll only be 20 months apart since, or, like, 20 months since I had my last son, the doctor said that there's a good chance that something can rupture. They won't even perform, or they won't even let you do a V-back, if it's 18 months or less, so it's looking like I'm going to have to go with C-section again. Again, Then I asked him about cord blood banking, and he gave me some pamphlets on that, so looking like I'm probably going to end up doing that. And I asked him, will I be able to keep the placenta, including if C-section is needed? He said it's up to me, but not very many people do keep the placenta. And actually, I've heard otherwise. I heard lots of people want to but we'll see. And then I put, do you know anything about people taking the placenta and making them into pills and then taking them for health benefits? I heard that if you take the placenta and make them into pills, it can be used for, like, if you have postpartum depression, which I never had the first time, but I mean, you never know, right? So, I, he said he's never heard about that, but I heard actually of another, um, person on YouTube who 
made her placenta into pills, but he hadn't heard about that, so it's not a big deal. I don't think I'm going to kind of pursue that any further. And I put, can I get my tubes tied if I have a C-section? He said I was too young for that. And my next prenatal appointment is November 1st um, at 4.20, I believe. Okay, so um, the vitamins I've been taking, the prenatal vitamins, are these Jameson prenatal vitamins, and they have folic acid in them. Uh, so that's kind of nice. I don't have to take two pills. Uh, when I was pregnant with my first son, I actually took prenatals and folic acid for the first couple of months or, yeah. So I'm pretty happy with the pills. They seem to be fine and, yeah. Okay, so, um, I have a few names picked out for both boy and girl, nothing is set in stone or anything, I'm not 100% sure on any of them, but I do have some names in mind. Uh, the big difference I've noticed between my last pregnancy and this one is mostly my body just feels a lot more achy this time, like my muscles are more sore, my back's hurting a lot more, it's... If I did have that the last pregnancy, I just don't remember, I guess, but I've noticed it's, like, that is, like, the main my main symptom, I guess you could say, because like I said, I didn't have morning sickness, I like, my boobs hurt a little bit, I've noticed they've gotten a lot bigger now, but, uh, you know, that, like, just achy body is like what I've noticed a lot throughout this entire pregnancy so far, and I have felt the baby move, I'm pretty sure, three times, two of the times were earlier this month at night, um, both times were at night, and then the other time was last night, um, so maybe the baby will be a night owl. <laughs> and yeah, um, I'm booking an ultrasound, t a 3D 40 ultrasound tomorrow. Um, probably gonna, I'm gonna try and get that done around February. I'm thinking because you get a whole package. You get a DVD with for um, with 30 minutes of the baby moving around on it, like uh, DVD of what the baby looks like and everything inside. And then you get all the pictures on a CD. You also get three pictures printed out. And there's another... Oh, and you can get the gender, or get them to tell you the gender if you want. And I'm thinking I'm going to get that done. Because I had it done with my first son, so I'm just going to get the exact same package. But the only difference this time is they have teddy bears there that you can actually get your baby's heartbeat recorded onto the teddy bear and then you can like listen back to it and so I'm thinking I'm gonna get that too so I'm booking that tomorrow and then I'll get an ultrasound done at the hospital um, probably in my 19th or 20th week so I'm thinking that's about it so I will see you uh, for my 14th week and thanks for watching okay bye YouTube